If you're a Thermix owner who is still buying nut butter or peanut butter from the shop, after watching this quick video, you'll never do that again. Noni from ThermoFit here, and I'm gonna show you today how to make an amazing crunchy nut butter in your Thermomix in under a couple of minutes. It tastes so much better, you'll never wanna buy it again. But a couple of other reasons why you wouldn't wanna buy it, the store-bought versions are usually filled with sugar, vegetable oils, and a high amount of salt, but not the good quality kind. You can get good blends now that are just 100% nuts or peanuts, but they're expensive as well. What I'm gonna show you is going to save you money, teach you how to use manual mode in the Thermomix, so you can customize it, and you're going to avoid all those unnecessary additives. So let's go. So like I said, I'm doing a crunchy version today. So if you don't want a crunchy version, all you're gonna do is skip this step and go straight to the next step. But for the crunchy version, I've put just 100 gram of the nut blend that I'm using. I'm using cashews, peanuts, and macadamias <laughs> today. And now the peanuts, the only peanuts I could find were salted. I prefer to have unsalted nuts. Roasted's fine, I love the roasted flavor. Unsalted nuts I normally go for because I like to put my own to taste amount of salt and the, my own quality if I'm going to put salt. But a lot of the times I'm using peanut butter or my nut butters in a sweet way as well with a dessert. So I just normally leave it unsalted and then salt it if I need to. But because I could only find salted peanuts, the macadamias and the cashews were unsalted. What I do when I can only find salted nuts and I don't want salted nuts, is I put them in the Thermomix basket and just hold it over the sink and give it a really good shake. And that gets a lot of the excess salt off. So let's make our crunchy bits first. So we've got peanuts, cashews, macadamia. I'm going to swipe and put the scales on manually. So here, Yep, so 100 grams, 99 grams to be exact. Lid goes on. Now, if you've not used turbo function before, this is gonna be a really good one. One second, I will take it down to half a second and I'll just do a couple of little pulses until I get the chunkiness that I like. Now this, you can do it as much or as little as you like to get the desired consistency you like. Okay, let me check out if that's how I like it. Yeah, not bad. So you do it to your level of chunkiness, how you like your chunky. Now I'm just gonna set that aside. Doesn't matter if you have some left in there, that's fine. Now the next lot. If I didn't mention already, you need a minimum of 400 grams of nuts to make nut butter. Otherwise you'll have to keep stopping and scraping and it's a bit too much of a process. Whereas if you're using minimum 400 grams, even 500 grams I think is the sweet spot. If you're using that amount, it blends itself really well and a good amount of volume for the bowl. I had 100 grams of the crunchy and 500 grams of the nuts. Okay, so literally all you need to do from here, put all the nuts in, lid on. Now, if you're using a TM6, you can use the blend mode, but just for the sake of suiting everybody, we're gonna put it on the home screen. So from here, I'm gonna put this up to about a minute. Well, I'll check it in 30 seconds and see how we're going and show you, give you a look. Now we don't need the temperature, so we just tap on the dial here and turn it all the way up to seven to start. So that was just 30 seconds. Let's have a look what we can do in just 30 seconds. You can see that we're not quite there because what happens with a nut butter is that if it looks like this and you you think it's not ready, it's not, it's not um, happening for me, keep blending because as we blend more, the natural oils come out and it becomes quite runny. If we stop it early, it'll be a bit too dry for what we know as a nut butter. So let's go for another 30 seconds. This time I'll do it on the blend mode just to show any TM6 owners who haven't used blend mode before. Swiping across, finding blend, 30 seconds, 
This time I'm going to take it down a tiny bit so that it doesn't flick up to the side. So I'll put it on speed six this time. All right, so 30 seconds more. Oh my God. That's what we're after. Just 30 seconds more, so one minute in total and you've got nut butter. Now I will say when you're using the, these type of nuts, cashews, macadamia, peanuts, they are softer and they take way less time to turn into butter. So however, please note if you're using almonds, for example, they are so much drier that you might need to blend it for at least two minutes. So like I said before, if you're looking at it and it's not quite what you're after, keep blending and with those drier type of oils you may need to add a tablespoon of oil just to kick it in but look at that now i've got the nut butter to the consistency that i want this is where if you are using the crunchy method you put the pre-chopped nuts back in so the nuts that i chopped up earlier they are just going to go into the mix i will just scrape down the sides for the rest of the peanut butter and we'll mix that through now we can do that on reverse we're just going to mix them through so we tap the blades button down the bottom of the speed dial and now we just mix it through on maybe about a three all right here we go that is so crunchy Look at that. Okay, now for perhaps the coolest tip and trick of all, I'm gonna put this into this without making any mess. So you take your jar, take your Thermomix lid. So it's still dirty, place it on like that. And there we go. What would have made a mess? <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get the lid on that. What a perfect fit. So there we go. 600 grams of a crunchy peanut macadamia and cashew blend. It's so full. I'm going to have to eat some before I can even put the lid on. I hope that you never buy store bought nut butter ever again after seeing just how easy that is. One minute and you've got it done. Customize how you want to, whatever nuts you want to use, avoiding all of those vegetable oils, sugar and excess low quality salt and save yourself some money.